Welcome back. In this lesson, short lesson, we're going to look at power. We've already talked about work and that work is a force exerted over a distance. So let's say that I can lift a heavy thing over my head. Okay, so I pick up a barbell, I lift it up over my head, and I do one. Oh, I say one. Okay. Let's say that you can do it faster than me. So we both take up the same weight of barbell, we lift it over our head the same distance, and you can do it in one second, and I can do it in two seconds. How much work have you done? How much work have I done? Well, if I've lifted a certain weight a certain distance, I've done a certain amount of work on it. If you are lifting the same weight the same distance, you've done the same amount of work on it. The difference between you and me is that you have more power than I do. It took the same amount of energy for me to get the, the barbell lifted as it took for you. But since you did it in a shorter time, you were more powerful. So power is related to energy. And remember, energy is related to work. So it is a measure of how fast that something is done. So as an example, a worker uses more power running up the stairs than climbing the same stairs slower, slowly. So if I go up a certain distance, let's say, I don't know, 10 feet, you go up 10 feet by climbing a, a flight of stairs, then you have lifted yourself, you have a mass, so you, you, that's a weight, so you have a force that would push down on a scale, so that is a force, your weight, times the distance, you've raised yourself 10 feet, so you've done a force times distance, so you've done a certain amount of joules of work by lifting yourself to the next floor, okay? If you can run up the stairs, it takes more power than walking up the stairs. You've done the same amount of work, but power is P, equals W divided by T, so work divided by time. So take the work, divide it by time, and that's your power. So if you've done the same amount of work, but one person does it slower, they have less power than the other person. So we already see, saw that, that uh, work and energy are both in the unit of joules, J-O-U-L-E-S, joules, one joule is a newton meter, okay? Um, so a newton meter is a joule a joule per second so a newton meter a newton is a force times the distance a newton times a meter divided by one second is called a watt and you do so many watts of power so we still buy light bulbs in watts is it a hundred watt bulb is it a 40 watt bulb and that tells you how much power it is taking to send those electrons through that filament so a unit of power is a joule per second. Otherwise, a newton times a meter divided by a second, and that is a watt, and it's named after James Watt. Uh, he developed the steam engine. He was able to take heat energy and convert it into mechanical energy, and then later into electrical energy. So a kilowatt is how you buy your power from the power company, and that's simply a thousand watts. So uh, you have a kilowatt hour and that's what you pay per kilowatt hour from the from the electric company uh, in order to get the power to do what it, that you need to do to use your energy okay great 